Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Note Closure Show. As always, Scott Carson, excited to be here today. Uh, today, it's uh, the day after our Note Mastermind that meant for, for a lot of us, it's Monday, so you guys will be hearing this on a Tuesday or whatever you're hearing it, but it's always a, a, a great thing the day after a Note Mastermind. Now, one of the things we had uh, right at 40 people coming in, spend time with us, actually 40 plus when you figure in the vendors, but come in Austin, spend Friday, Saturday, Sunday with us. And, and really working on each other's businesses, really working to identify uh, solutions to problems that we're having, uh, new vendors, really doing the best that we can to help each person that came in, whether it was their first or their eighth or tenth or third or whatever, mastermind meeting, helping them take their businesses to the next level. And, and one of the biggest things when you have a mastermind, a truly great mastermind uh has to be about those attending, not about the person hosting it. So that's the thing I'm always excited about is, and Steph did just an amazing job as well uh, with bookings and getting everybody scheduled. And she did an amazing thing with goodie bags for everybody. Um, lots and lots of stuff, waters and Perrier's and candy and snacks for everybody to have, which it was just awesome. Everybody really loved that. And Steph did just an amazing job as all she does is helping to book things. But it's all about, like I said, it's, it's great. And I'm always humbled when people come in from all across the country to spend a couple of days with us. It's, it's just still crazy to look back how far we have come since we started this back in 2000, 2010, 2011, I think is the first, maybe 2012, but it's the 22nd time that we've done this. Uh, average size 40 to 50 usually. So we're right at about the same thing, but it's great because we have people that were brand new and all people that were really seasoned. So I have to give a big shout out to all our people that have been here before who shared with the new people. Uh, people like Dan, uh, Dan Deppin or Paul Cooper or Laura Blanc and uh, who else has been seasoned? Uh, Wiley Briggs. Um, you know, I know I'm, I'm forgetting a few people, but it, it's just great having people that are coming and hanging out. Jeffrey Wolf, uh, just so many people from the East Coast to the West Coast and in between from San Francisco, like Steve Lindstrom, to people that came in from uh, you know, Boston and New York and, and Queens and stuff like that. So really, uh, you know, just really, really jacked up. And I look at uh, the nuggets because I asked everybody to take a little bit time to share some of their favorite nuggets from the event. And I'll tell you what my biggest nugget is, is when I walk in on a Monday morning here and my email is full of comments, questions, posts from people who were there and attended who just absolutely – absolutely loved it. And so that's my big thank you to those for sharing. Um, we had a great time. Obviously great, some great photos, great networking. is always a great thing. Um, but the nuggets is where I like to see what people really like, what they, what they really take away. What was the aha moment, uh, the morning after, you know, uh, a lot of people get so excited. One of the things I heard over and over again from people is uh, obviously they come into Austin, they come in and spend time with us, the mastermind and they get rejuvenated. Let's face it, life is not the easiest thing. Uh, the world is not an easiest thing, and, and a lot of us get you bogged down in different things, especially if you're doing multiple things, whether you're working a full-time job, where you're a full-time real estate investor, a lot of people get bogged down in the day-in, day-out grunt. And then coming into Austin, they get rejuvenated, they get re-excited, uh, re-motivated to go out and do some new stuff in their note business, and it, it, shows, uh, it shows quite a bit there. So kudos to everybody that do that. Um, one of the great things uh, I like seeing, as I mentioned before, is the aha moment because that helps me be a better educator, help me be a better coach for our mastermind, for our note nation out there as well. And it's it's really, really great to see um, people taking in and running with it already. Uh, it was great. We talked a little bit about geo marketing using Instagram and Facebook. It was great seeing Lisa Benang. Um, this was her second mastermind. First one she came to almost immediately out of fast track, but literally jumping on the computer to start geo marketing uh, during the break, uh, jumping online to uh, start. Actually, the whole table was crowded around her, looking at things. So that was really a good thing. Um, we did a uh, we did a short sale theater. Uh, the mastermind players. Uh, I was talking about how to use like in a previous podcast episode. I talked about how to use short sale leads help you find note deals. And some of the people are like, huh, what do you mean by short sales? They were like, didn't understand what I was saying. So we just basically grabbed like eight people, nine people. And we had a little theater there where I directed them and 
finished with the play and everybody really liked that idea. It's like, oh, well, that makes sense. I can see it now versus trying to see it in their head. That was a good thing. Uh, I think of a big shout out to our vendors who came. Dickie Baldwin from Baldwin Advisory Group. Aaron Young from Lawfin Associates. Keaton and Katie from Quest Trust Company here in Austin. Kudos to all of you for coming. Brent Busquet from Lawfin Associates for hanging out for the entire weekend with us, helping people structure their entities and their asset protection stuff. Um, a lot of people liked the opportunity to hang out with them. I mean, Dickie blew everybody away with a lot of the different services that Baldwin Advisory Group offers. And so that was exciting to say. And seeing how far he came, basically, Dickie from Houston – uh, launched his Baldwin Advisory Group two masterminds ago when we had our mastermind group last August in Dallas around the Quest Expo. Came in for the first time. Didn't even have a website quite yet. Well, yesterday, uh, before he spoke on s Saturday, actually, sorry, not Sunday, but Saturday, he advised me that he had over a thousand different orders for BPOs, O&Es, and due diligence and realtors to his website. And he was just jacked up about that in the last seven, eight months. So kudos to Dickie. We were proud to be a big part of that to help him out then. Um, a lot of people really liked when I talked about bidding. We always, people get questions about bidding on assets. How do I bid? What's the best way? You know, we went through kind of the stair step guidelines, what to be bidding on performing, non-performing assets, how to adjust it or take it down, depending on what's going on with the asset, um, what they should be bidding on contract for deeds. But a lot of people like the fact that I talked about, hey, if you're going to bid on the good assets, you better bet, bid on some of the bad stuff. Hey, uh, give me this one. Let me throw these two in for free throwing these other assets that aren't really worth anything to you, throw them in for free or charge me, but take that charge off the really premium asset. And a lot of people like that because that adds value. Anytime you can take off some of the bad portfolio, uh, it'll add value to your bids and allow you to maybe yeah, pick up your nicer asset at a cheaper price than what everybody's bidding for just the solo asset, okay? Um, people liked uh, me to spend some time showing them how to upload some lists you know, the personal list, whether it's IRA investors, their contacts, whatever, and using LinkedIn to kind of help them expand the database. Um, let's see here. I'm going, I'm just going through some of these different things here. More stuff on Geo, Dickie Baldwin. Uh, people liked, uh, especially the realtor, Catherine Brennan, thank you from Chicago. Um, came and talked, she liked the idea of focusing on short sales, being around Lake County to find uh, potential seller leads. Um, love Dan like uh, Dan Devin like bidding in, mixing in some junk assets as well. I just it's a lot of the same thing. Oh, Michael, <clears throat> like the time blocking aspect of things. We talked about definitely, hey, how to organize your schedule because I think everybody feels that it feels drifting, kicking in into place. And what I mean, how they drifting? I mean, like we get sidetracked. It's it's common. Everybody struggles with it. Even me, even your best people will drift. Um, and so the more you can be effective at blocking your schedule. Time blocking your marketing, whether it's the first in the morning or the afternoon, or the evening, or the same time on the weekend, the more effective you're going to be to make sure you at least get a few things done, especially if this is you're starting off brand new or getting started. And that's, that goes across the board, all types of real estate investing. If you're out there listening to Nation and you're doing a variety of things, the more you can time block, have the same activities at the same time and be dedicated to stop, not answer your phone, not answer your emails, the happier and better off you'll be. Um. Julian liked me talking a little about Julian Blank, like we talking about basically justifying initial bids, providing some due diligence numbers or reasons for if you're going to submit a low bid. I think that it's an important thing if you're going to be bidding to banks and asset managers that, hey, if you come in with a low ball bid, why is your low ball bid there? Is the house across the street trashed out? Um, is the neighborhood rough? Those are important things that asset managers can't always see because they're looking through and bidding on so many different assets. Um. We just, there's a lot of great things that were replicated from people. Um, they really enjoyed some of the things that took place. That I was excited about. I got a span, chance to spend some time. We wrapped up roughly around 1230 on Sunday, but that was for the morning session. In the afternoon session, I was able to record a chunk of, uh, you know, 20, 30 minute podcast with Smart Up Mastermind members. So stay tuned. Uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be rolling those episodes out um for people to listen and be able to get feedback from people like uh steve van camp and dennis donnery out of uh, michigan and, and the detroit area about their business how they've closed on you know 25 assets we'll be talking with lisa Benang, who's closed on three assets in her first six months we'll talk uh, excitedly uh wiley briggs was one of the co-winners of the social media marketing 
um, breakdown. Paul Cooper did a great job uh, winning also uh, the Social Media Marketing Rockstar Award out there. And so we'll have Paul on. We've got Dan Deppin coming back on since last August, kind of sharing how he has grown his business since he went full-time August 1st. Michael Slaywin, realtor and real estate investor, recent Fast Track member, also coming on to share a little bit of his information. And then um, there was some, oh, Eric Ham, uh, who went full-time a few months back in the note space from Long Beach. Uh, he's an IT professional, uh, well, was an IT professional, but has basically given himself a year to get rock and roll. And he's bought three, three or four assets and looking at funding a couple more. Just really, really excited about that. Logan Hasinger, who's doing a great job uh, on closing some assets out of Dallas. Uh, it was kind of a funny breakdown with, with Logan and Eric. Um, they both came to the fast track at the same time. You know, the fast track train in Austin, Texas. They left. Uh, Eric started reaching out to asset managers. He, he reached out to one big fund. That big fund sent him a list of some assets. The two assets that he saw that were in his area, he didn't really focus on, so he didn't do much with it. He didn't think about picking up the phone and call me. Well, fast forward a few months later, Logan reaches out to the same asset manager, gets a list in, buys an asset, and then also brings a big tape. Uh, well, a pretty good, not so not big as far as like 500 to 1,000 assets, but gets this tape from this hedge fund, pretty good size servicing company with some pretty decent assets to the table. And we're working through those assets uh, from those in the fast track will be, I mean, not the fast track, but the, the most recent mastermind uh, people that attended will be actually able to bid on those assets and go back and forth from there. So you never know what we're going to cook up for the map, but it was funny, just the power of, okay. I got something. What else can I get? It's that simple thing. Hey, what else do you have that I can take a look at? Eric didn't ask what else did you have? Cause he basically got just to say, hey, I just bought in, in Ohio and the asset manager from the Ohio assets. Logan said, well, there's not if you don't anything in Ohio. That's fine. But what else do you have? And he was able to find a couple deals that makes sense. Plus the possibility of being able to make some money by brokering, you know, for some simple fees to other members of the mastermind member, make it a true win-win across the board. I think a lot of people forget about that. We get so bogged down. Do what's, on, what's, what's in my portfolio, what's in my portfolio, they often forget they've got a mastermind group or a network of people they can reach out to. Not, not, not just the mastermind, but other people that they've connect, connected with either at different events or different coaching calls or networking. They can be great buyers of assets and they can still squeeze in a, a point, a thousand bucks, three points. It just depends on what the deal will hold based on the pricing. But that's one of the beautiful things. We, we missed on a, a few people attending that couldn't make it, that got sidetracked with some things. We were, you were all missed. For those that didn't make it out, uh, we like to have fun too. Definitely have a lot of fun. Uh, Thursday night, we had a fun happy hour at the top of 18th over uh, 6th Street, the hotel. And then Friday night, we took everybody out for barbecue at the world famous Ironworks Barbecue here in downtown Austin. Um, great time there. And then let everybody kind of hang around for an hour, bounce around 6th Street. And then we took everybody to the world famous Esther's Follies uh, political. Uh, so kind of like it's Austin Zone Saturday Night Live and, and Magic Show. And my gosh, everybody had a really great time. They had some fresh stuff. Steph and I have attended that place. If you ever get a chance to make it to Austin, Esther's Follies is something you definitely want to take a look at with shows on Friday and Saturday night. Tickets like 20 to 40 bucks. It's well worth going to. Just a f hilarious, hilarious troop of uh, eight or nine people that are running different ads, politics, making fun of both sides, left and the right side. Uh, Republicans and Democrats and everybody in the middle with an awesome flair to it. And then, of course, Ray Anderson, the magician, does a great job as well. But everybody really, really enjoyed that. And we can't set everybody free to go do what they want to do. Uh, it's also nice as we, and breakfast comes Saturday morning. We had everybody meet up on the top floor again for breakfast and just had a chance to visit, you know, fellowship with each other, break a little bread is important. And really had a great day, too. Um, let everybody kind of go out on their own. No, on Saturday night, we only had one casualty, I guess you could say, to 6th Street where they had too much to drink and didn't make it Sunday morning, but that's okay. They're safe and happy and, and all right. It's, it's all right. You're going to have that happen every once in a while. But I just am so proud of seeing the growth of our students. I'm so proud of seeing so many people go out and close on, you know, we're not talking 50 assets their first year, but closing on assets on, on you know, regularly, two, three, four, don't you? No, no business is not a get rich quick scheme by any means. It is a get, grow wealth, you know, not scheme, but grow wealth process. People buying performing assets with their, their 
IRA funds, you know, buying notes and then getting them worked out into reperforming or then selling the assets off or taking that property back and then owner financing the assets out or turning it into the rental portfolio in different areas. There's so many great ways of people being able to really grow their portfolio or add that, add a really nice tool. I guess you could say the tool belt, even though I hate that analogy. Um, but it's just a great way for people to do it. I have to give a big shout out to Leon and Mary Griggs who flew in from the Freedom the uh, Freedom Ria Club out of Rochester, New York area. I spoke at their uh, one day retreat last year. Um, they had a hundred plus people at it. Leon just does a great job up there. But Leon Mary, we had such a great time having them come in and spend time with us, uh, hang out in our mastermind. They added a lot. I know that they got a lot of that out of it too based on the notes that I've gotten. But the thing I want you guys to realize masterminds are a very powerful thing if it's if it's leveraged i've been a part of masterminds where it was focused not on the people attending but on the person running the event and that's not the best thing so that doesn't mean they can't add value but if that person is solely focused on what angle the the people attending can give to them what advantage they can give to them it doesn't work out as well uh for those attending and i think sometimes people can sense that i think people can realize hey this isn't you know, I need some help in my business. If I'm going to pay money to be part of Mastermind, I want that money to help me in my business, in my journey. I want to get to where that person is on stage at some point. I want to get to a higher level. I want to say goodbye to my J-O-B and move in the right direction towards financial freedom, financial growth, whatever that might be. And not everybody is like that, but we, we were excited that everybody's like that. Uh, uh, yeah, we've got some comments here. <laughs> uh Timmy Harry Jabai says, and they got to kick it in Austin during the food and wine festival. Yes, they did get to kick it in here. Uh thanks, Tim Harry, buddy. Enjoyed having you on the podcast last week. Looking forward to that episode coming out. Um we didn't dr- run all over. We spent a big chunk of time in the hotel. Obviously, it was a beautiful day. Made sure to give people a good hour, hour and a half for lunch so they can enjoy it, and then wrap it up even at five o'clock on Saturday so they could go out and enjoy it. And then even Sunday we ended a little bit early so people could go out and have a great lunch on sixth street downtown before they got to jump on a plane and head back to wherever they're headed to. So um, I'm, I will tell you this, I am a little tired. I was saying things yesterday afternoon or yesterday morning where I was getting dates and months and years wrong. So just a little exhausted, but I was able to get home and, and relax a little bit uh, before the episode of game of Thrones came out. And then before uh, we headed out at nine 40 last night to watch uh, the Avengers end game. <laughs> with a big two two big things on uh, online on sunday so enjoyed it I'm, I'm i will tell you this i'm really excited um, we've got some just great nuggets great episodes that we filmed with uh with quite a few of the mastermind members that will we'll be releasing over the next couple of weeks um just just i'm just so proud of everybody that's what it comes down to i'm so proud for those that shared you know we shared at the tables, not to, and it's not the most easiest thing to do. Sharing what your biggest hurdle is and how to overcome it. Sharing your biggest aha. You know, we also had some fun things of sharing what your biggest uh, something that most people didn't know. I find out that Karen Burns can cook one hell of a carrot pie. I will mention the state fair. Uh, it's funny also that we ask people to share their most embarrassing moment at the table as a way to help break the ice, and that really helped a lot of people out there. I think when you have people coming together and they're sharing emotional or kind of hilarious, embarrassing things, that's always a good thing. It's always a good thing getting people uh, <laughs> sh- sharing things. And I just got a text message from Steph. She's like, oh my God, I'm so stiff and zonked today. I think we, we both are. Mondays after a mastermind are often, you know, we're a little tired. We got lots of great stuff that we're working through and uh, just really trying to start sh- Strike while the iron is hot with the momentum for the mastermind. So a lot of people are asking, okay, when's the next mastermind? Um, our next mastermind is meaning will probably be right around. Uh, we're kind of leaning towards it being around the Quest Expo, doing a day on the 22nd, the day before the Quest Expo. That way it gives everybody an opportunity to kind of hang out for three days, the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Um, our next fast track dates, because we had several people that came in for a sneak peek. They came in and hung out uh for a day with us or for a couple days with us and they're coming back in for to get some more mats fast track coaching uh those next dates are june 21st through the 23rd and then of course july 19th through the 21st it's always usually roughly around the third weekend of the month in august 
our fast track weekend looks like it's going to be in the 16th through the 18th here in Austin, of course. So if those are something you're thinking about doing, let me know, drop me an email, shoot me a text message. Uh, we're glad to talk with you a little more about the fast track training and what goes into it, how and why we think our training is the best in the industry. The reason we believe it's the best is because people are closing the most amount of deals. They're going out and making some things happen. Okay. Um, Logan, thank you so much. I see Logan has around here. It mentions he's got to go out and find it and have a talk with a person that didn't make it Sunday morning. Yeah, he might do that. Might do that definitely. But you know what? They had a good time. They were safe. That's all that matters. That's really all that matters for anything out there. Uh, for those that are watching, if you guys were, uh, um, let's see here. What does Tim say? You seem emotional. It's impressive when someone can share the, the deep truth. You know, that's, that's the thing, Tim, that we try to do, you know, and Tim, you shared a lot uh, when we interviewed you last week. I think that's, that's the thing is I was talking with somebody, there was a point during the mastermind, we we're talking about how amazing and what the, the ups and downs of the last 10 years. And if I were to go back and talk to the guy 10 years ago and say, hey, you're going to have hundreds of people that have come in and spent time with you, I would like, whatever. <laughs> They're going to come and spend time with me. I thought that kind of funny. And I just, it is, it, it happens. People come in and spend time and that's a, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm always humbled when people will fly in and spend time with us. And we always, we take that very seriously and want to make sure and deliver value, deliver nuggets and make it worth their time. And so, especially for those, we had some really high advanced people come in and hang out with us throughout the weekend. People are doing some big commercial deals, big development stuff. And it was great seeing an email this morning. That, hey, they believed our mastermind was one of the best events that they've, they've been to. So, um, you know, we've had masterminds that have uh, been interesting. It's, it's evolved over the year. We used to do like a five-day mastermind, like Monday through Friday, which is a long time to be together. The first one was like nine days from a Friday to a following Sunday with 12 people originally to kick off. That was a long time, but well worth it kind of figuring things out. You know, we've done masterminds that were... Uh, one thing I will never do, I did this once, I'll never do it again. I did a mastermind Monday through Friday, and then I had a workshop that fr that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so they were matched up like that. That wasn't a fun thing. That's when you have 200 plus people that are kind of negotiating back and forth on things, looking at assets, making offers. That's not necessarily the best thing. I will never do that again. Um, but I do love seeing people networking. And that's one of the things I really enjoy more than anything else is seeing people coming together and working on each other's business. I've seen people like Eric and Logan working on deals <clears throat> or Leon talking with Aaron Young about having Aaron come out and speak at the event or uh, Brent sitting down with other people to help them with their asset protection and structuring their Rockefeller strategies. Those are great things you know that are win-wins across the board for people. You, I know those are wins for people for attending I don't know what's going on, on my computer here this morning, but those are when you have a mastermind, it's got to be about the people that are there. It's got to be about helping them take their business to the next level. It's got to be about them helping them overcome obstacles, overcome mind blocks, overcome the stuff that's keeping them from taking those next important steps. And I look at some people who have been to their, you know, their first one and see the growth they go between their first and their second and their second and third and their third and their fourth. You know, we've got, you know, we've got so many people that are closing on 100 plus deals or closing on 200 plus deals. They're changing their lives. They're replacing their income and actually enjoying life with their family. They've retired their, their parents, retired their spouses or retired themselves or helped their kids get into the business. That's that's such a beautiful, joyous thing. I'm seeing that happen. It's also a beautiful, joyous thing. of seeing somebody uh, like Megan who came in and hung out was for a couple of days, brand new kind of new investor, uh, just absolutely really making a bunch of good friends, hanging out with great people like, oh my gosh, this is great stuff. You know, people like our buddy Rob here locally, we met at Quest, uh, no, uh, Quest Trillion Dollar Mixer. He's like, this is what I want to do. And he's at the sneak peek and he's meeting so many new people and he's so many aha moments from him uh, come up and say, this was, that was powerful. Or that was, it was amazing. Or just people having their minds blown from, nuggets that they're sharing not only from us from the front of the room but from them sitting with people and talking with people who are willing to give let's face it real estate investing not everybody's always willing to give you nuggets 
They're not willing to share vendors. They're not willing to give you a leg up in a market. And that's the one of the most powerful things that we believe in. We believe in co-opetition, as our buddy Joel Markovitz shared, has shared with us in the past. The fact that everybody is working towards their own business. Everybody is working to make things happen. Uh, there's no reason that we can't all be rowing in the same direction, rowing towards that same finish line uh, of financial freedom of success, whatever your success may be. Maybe it's a one deal a month. Maybe it's one deal a week. Who knows? Maybe it's one a year. Everybody has their different levels. It's good seeing people coming back into the fold. They haven't been, have been away for a while. Our, our, uh, seeing Jerry Briggs coming back in and hanging out and seeing other people that are like, hey, I'd really want to come back in and hang out. I just, life has gotten in the way. And we're always excited to see that happen. And, you know, hey, you're welcome back. Come back anytime, hang out, chill with us. Get reinvigorated, recharged to, to make some things happen. So that's some of the beautiful things that we, we love seeing. Um, the mastermind, like I said, just it's a, it's a great, great thing. People really go above and beyond. Uh, if you guys are watching this online on Facebook Live right now, I'd love to answer any questions that you might have regarding our mastermind. Um, always glad to help you know, correspond with everybody out there. That's what we do. That's what we try to do to make it the best possible thing. Uh, our, our next really sole mastermind is going to be in December. It's usually the first weekend or second weekend of December. It depends on when Thanksgiving lands, and we don't want to do it too late in December because people obviously have the holidays to deal with and Christmas and, and New Year's and stuff like that. And then, of course, kids getting out of school. But the thing is, Hey, are we gonna do it back in Austin? I don't know. We'll do it in Austin. We might do it somewhere else. I haven't, we haven't decided yet. Still looking at locations, still looking at a, a variety of things that go into that. Let me see if I can pull up some more comments here where Facebook is being quiet. Um, it's always great seeing, let's see here. Hey, Jerry Thompson. Hey, Catherine Brennan. Uh, Catherine says, re-inspired. That's awesome. Uh, Jeffrey Wolf says, love the short sale strategy. Thank you, Jeff. And, and I appreciate your feedback after the event, Jeff. Definitely, definitely important. I always want to hear what's what we can do best for people out there. Um, let's see here. Ha, ha, ha. Joe, uh, Logan says, I don't know what that's for. Um, just, just impressed. Impressed by a lot of people doing some great things in their time frame, especially a large chunk. Uh, a large chunk of our students are working full time, so working full 40, 50 hour a week jobs, and so they're having to do this around their job. So that's something about. Um, Carolyn asks if there is a code for the Quest Expo. Yes, there is. If you use Carson19, if you use the code Carson19, Carson19, that should get you um, to get you a discount for the Quest, for the Quest Expo. Slated for uh, August 23rd through the 25th. Uh, got a, a big shout out to uh, Keaton and Katie from coming hanging out with us for uh, a couple hours on Saturday. I know they've got a, a, or Friday afternoon, they've got a busy event that they're working through. Always busy stuff going on at Quest. Big shout out to Aaron Young for hung out, hanging out with us and, and playing full tilt. One of the things that I love seeing is that our vendors come and play full tilt. They come and hang out. They're there. They're present. They're at the tables. They're sharing. They're communicating. They're really diving in and offering up solutions when they can or, you know, options for people at different levels depending on what their needs are. So that's a beautiful thing for our vendors. You know, the thing about uh, we usually like to have three or four vendors that come hang out. It's not a pitch idea or pitch fest at all. It's there to help people get a face-to-face, -face, be able to hang with them, get a chance to know them. Um, several people took a lot of ahas away from Dickie Baldwin's thing this weekend, uh, his presentation. A lot of people, you know, love people that have a face in the name with, when it comes to Quest Trust Company, especially Katie and, and Keaton when they're local people. You know, people love sitting down and talking about their, their assets and where they want to go. One of the great things I love about Brent Biscay from Law Fund, I know he sat down with several people this weekend and just tell them to clear up some of their strategies, their asset protection strategies. Some, some people had been given very complex, over-the-top, way too expensive asset protection stuff that they didn't need. And it was really nice of Brent to sit down with them and say, well, really, literally, you don't need this and this. Yes, you need this. Yes, you need this. But this is overkill. 
you, the likely this this is this just doesn't make sense. And so I have to give him a big shout out because let's all face it, some vendors when they come to events, you know, hey, they're there to make money for themselves, to close on deals for themselves. I can understand that, but being there to provide value, uh, being there to just hang out with, drink a cold beer, <laughs> uh, you know, eat some brisket, that, that goes a long way. When you break bread with people, you get a chance to know them. You know, like one of the things we found out in the past is that many of our mastermind members are very musically inclined. We could have had the old hold note mastermind uh, band when we've done that in Orlando before. Found out a big chunk of our mastermind members with kids are homeschooling their kids to take advantage of that aspect of things. Look, if you, and one thing too, you have to be careful of, I crack up because I see a lot of masterminds springing up, trying to replicate what other people are doing. And that's okay. Great. It's, it's like, it's like a lot of the different educational events. I see event after event and everybody thinks putting on an event is an easy thing to do. No, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of different things that you have to do when you put on an event. And it's not always uh, an effective event if you're brand new at it. Sometimes, like I turned down going and speaking at an event today. Uh, I mean, it came in today and I turned it down for September. Like, no, it just doesn't make sense to go out to that and speak for 20 minutes and travel halfway across the country. Now, I like what we do here locally. I love the fact that we're able to have people come into Austin and really give them a lot of value, give them nuggets, give them strength. I mean, we went through several of the asset manager lists that we pull on a regular basis that people have been through our mastermind get, um, you know, thousands of contacts and how to effectively use those contacts, how to use LinkedIn, how to use a specific software device to pull leads and email addresses from LinkedIn, and then how to use those lists on either Facebook or uploading them in different places so that you can target to them directly, how you can stand out from the crowd and really be able to attract business because you just are dedicated, you're consistent in your marketing, you're consistent in your actions when a lot of other people will be one and done. And that's what we see out there a lot of times. People just aren't consistent in their marketing. A lot of one and done's taking place and that's a bad, bad thing. But I'm so proud of people like Dan Deppen, Paul Cooper, Catherine Brennan closed on our first deal recently. Um, uh, Melanie and Phil, uh, Philip Jacob doing some great things. Wylea Griggs, uh, proud of Carolyn Matlack, as well as other people out there. Logan doing some big things. Just Jeff Wolf closing assets. I'm so proud of our members who really play full out. And it's not just full out of what they do. Many of the people I mentioned also are working full time. They're in that transition period in their first six months, their first year, their first two years to transition to doing this full time. And just takes time. It takes a little bit of patience. It takes having a plan of action and marketing and being able to dive in and really do some cool things. So we're pretty stoked about that. Uh, somebody asked me online, what masterminds am I a part of? Um, I'm, a, I'm part of a podcasting mastermind. We get together um, with our buddy Steve Olsher from New Media Summit. He puts on a good event for podcasting. Um, he's got one coming up in September out in San Diego. Um, and then the icons, I'm a fellow icon of influence in that. And so we spend a good day that following Monday after the event to hang out and network and mastermind together as a group. And so that's always valuable. Uh, I'm excited um, that we have a, a kind of a mastermind we created for our vendors for the likes of like Merrill Chandler and Aaron Young and George Anton and Jason Bible and Robert Orofino and Quest. And we got a few others coming in. Um, we meet once, maybe we're going to start going to twice a year, just as a high network uh, group of people get together to work on each other's businesses. Hey, what's working in your business? How can I help leverage our audience for your audience or vice versa? How can we help work together? Um, we started doing that in December of last year with 15 people and it worked out really, really well. We'll probably have 30, 35 come around and can't forget Tom and Tracy Hazard are part of that. Can't forget Christy and Elijah White are a part of that as well too. I knew I was forgetting a couple of people, but it's, it's just rewarding having those relationships with people that their entrepreneurs are driven. They've got big hearts and you want to surround yourself with like-minded individuals and people have a similar interest. And that's really what a mastermind, the true definition of mastermind, it's people coming together with similar interests, working towards the same goal. Yes, they may have their own business. They may have their own interests, but they're all pulling, or as uh, PJ Flick from the head coach of Minnesota, used to be from uh, Central Michigan, they're all rowing the boat 
in the same direction. And that's what you have to do as a mastermind, row your boat in the same direction. Uh, would love it if anybody else is watching this who came to the mastermind this weekend. I think, thanks, Jeffrey Wolf. Thanks, Logan. Thanks, Catherine, uh, for sharing already. Um, if you had a f favorite aha nugget, I think Dan's watching. I think a few others watching. If you had a favorite aha nugget that you took away from this weekend, I'd love for you to share it here. Uh, as I said before, that's what it all comes about. What kind of ahas can we deliver on a consistent basis? Because I've been a part of masterminds that delivered zero aha. Zero aha moments in a weekend. And our time is extremely valuable, not just mine, but everybody's time is extremely valuable, especially if you're is taking time away from your friends, your family, your, your kids, your loved ones. You want to make sure that the time away is worth the time. And it's not all about play but that you can actually make sure that the time ends up helping you pay in the long run. So, but that's all I've really got for this day. Um, like I said, if you want to find out more information about our note mastermind group, just go to weclosenotes.com. There's an opt-in button for the note mastermind. Just fill out your information and then I'll shoot you a link. A link will get shot over to you to discuss what's going in the mastermind. What's all involved with that. The fast track training. It may not be a fit. I had somebody come in this weekend. I don't think they're gonna be part of the mastermind, but I wanted to invite them down to see, get a sneak peek. I think they're, pretty advanced. They're pretty much rocking around along with some different things. Hey, still wanted to get a chance to hang out with them, visit. They've got a lot of stuff out of that and they're out, rock, out rocking and rolling along, looking to do some business with them in the long run. Um, while I say, or Leah Griggs says the GO marketing. Yes. Great stuff on that. And that's actually one of the things uh, that we'll be focused on tonight's Note Night in America call out actually as well for our WCN membership is diving a little bit more on Facebook and Instagram, showing people how to do the GO marketing. So, but anyway, that's all that I've got for today, everybody. I want to wish each and everybody out there a happy week. It's Monday. It's not quite uh, May is almost here. Some of you guys, some of you will be listening to this in May, obviously. Make the most of your May. Make the most of your year. The year's not quite halfway over, but we're getting pretty close to it. So if you're not hitting the goals that you want to accomplish and you've been trying to do this on your own, maybe it's time uh, you let somebody come in and help you pick up that cross. Maybe you let somebody come in and help you help carry the burden a little bit with there, show you a smarter way to build that house. Let's show you some easier tools that you don't have to. I mean, who wants to use a, a rock and a nail when we can show you how to use a nail gun? Okay. Or better yet, you don't have to use the nail gun. You have somebody using the nail gun for you to build something. So that's what I think a mastermind can do for you. It can help you get from zero to 60 in a lot faster time frame. So the six months could be six days or six weeks or sometimes six hours, depending on what you're looking for. So Check us out, weclosenotes.com, everybody. Note Nation out there, thank you for listening. Um, like I said, want to find more information, go to weclosenotes.com, check out the Note Mastermind box, click on it. I'll send you a link. We can get on the phone and talk, spend 15, 20, 30 minutes with you, see where you're at in your business, see if it's a fit, and uh, see about getting you on board here with our next round of fast track trainings, June, July, or August of 2019. Trust me. The more information can be put in right now, the better off your second half is going to be because we're going to see a lot more stuff hit the markets than uh, probably what we've seen in a while, especially with what the markets are doing. So go out, have a great day, everybody. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all at the top. Bye.